What's good, y'all? L Famous, living my life, not thinking about it twice. Don't be scared to like, subscribe, or share this dope content if you like it. You heard? Let's get it. Let's get it. Now, this joint here is about my dude Romeo Biz. You heard? From out of Brownsville, Brooklyn. But the topic is about dope, drugs, and jail. How a lot of them older dudes in prison, all they care about is dope. You know what I'm saying? All them, a lot of them dudes, they, they sold us out. They sold out the young generation for dope. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them older dudes sold out the younger generation for dope. You heard? Because... A lot of times when dudes is getting stabbed, cut, and hurt up north, it's over dope, nine times out of 10. And me, you know what I'm saying? I have family members that grew up using dope and all that. So I always looked at that and said, I'm staying away from drugs. So I'm, I'm in my 40s and, I, and the reason why I look so good and I look so young you heard? It's because I never used drugs like that. Never. I never used drugs. Never. You heard? I only smoked marijuana. You know what I'm saying? That's the only drug that you could say that I used. And it's legal now. So it's not even considered a drug anymore. So I'm just telling y'all that. You know what I'm saying? I seen my family members lose their life. Not lose their life, but succumb to drugs in the streets so I always knew to stay away from drugs and when I was in jail I had one dude try to ask me did I want some dope before you know what I'm saying and I might tell that story at the end of this story but look this story is about my man Romeo Biz from out of Brownsville Brooklyn blood nigga you heard you know what I'm saying I met him in Clinton you know what I'm saying he was a front yo let me tell y'all something about my man Romeo Biz now I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to I'm not trying to talk about his habit like like you know to try to degrade him or nothing because if anybody that knew Romeo Biz he'll tell you yo man I love dope I don't give a damn about what the niggas talking about because you got to remember we was we was Don Moo and Romeo Biz loved dope you know what I'm saying and when you Don Moo or you blood you ain't supposed to be messing with none of that you know what I'm saying so technically he was supposed to be fooled but this is why Romeo Biz was so funny and me and him got along so good now Romeo Biz got busy he was in jail I think he had 33 years or 44 33 years or 44 years I, I think it was 33 years. Romeo Biz had 33 years, I believe. You heard? And that was his shit. He used to walk around and be like, man, I got 33 motherfucking years, B. Nigga, I'm sniffing as much dope as I motherfucking want, B. I'm, I'm, man, I don't give a damn. And he used to make mad jokes about it. So he used to have the homies laughing, you know what I'm saying? He, especially me, because I, I used to be dying. I'm a funny dude, so you know what I'm saying? And I, was, I used to be joking on niggas too. So Romeo Biz was more funnier than me. But that nigga was that nigga was like Eddie Murphy, um, um Bernie Mac, motherfucking um Jamie Foxx, all them niggas in one, man. My man Romeo Biz, I love you, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling this story because I cause I cause, cause you my dude, man. You know what I'm saying? You still my dude. Yo, it, it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you how it went down, B. Yo, Romeo Biz a funny nigga. So now, Romeo Biz, me and Romeo Biz. Used to always be kicking it. He's like, you Bronx, y'all Bronx ass niggas. Yo, L, you on that Bronx shit, man. This and that, that and this. Man, I'm Brownsville, Brooklyn, nigga. Brownsville to the heart, nigga. I ain't from Brooklyn. I'm from Brownsville. You know what I mean? That's how I know that Brownsville niggas rep they shit hard. You know what I'm saying? Brownsville rep they shit separate from um anybody else. They, you know, they, they. They rep they joint. So my man Romeo Biz, he used to walk around in jail. He be like, man, I got thirty three. So so he be like, you gonna do them? Do the, you gonna do these thirty three years? I gotta do. So he, and nigga be like, uh, nigga, shut up, then, nigga. You can't tell me nothing, man. I'm sniffing as much dope as I want. I love dope. What? What? what, what, what? Matter of fact, I sniff a bag right now. What? I sniff a bag in your face. You heard? Yo, he used to have us all on the floor. You know what I'm saying? So boom. 
So now one day, now, boom, everybody know I had the mean Bronx team in there. I had the mean Bronx team, you know what I'm saying? And you couldn't do nothing to nobody from the Bronx that I was rolling with, you know what I'm saying? Nobody, you know what I'm saying? So one day, we had we had this little dude from Webster named Fuzzy, you know what I'm saying? My little man Fuzzy, he was, he was the youngest blood out of all of us in there you know what i'm saying he was the youngest blood he was one of them niggas that was like like 18 years old and he and he was he was in clinton you heard and the nigga had a big mouth my man fuzzy from webster you know what i'm saying and he was locked on the company with ron do you know what i'm saying ron do famous ron do from from washington projects the bolden brothers you heard and um him and ron do was on, on on the flats together in lower f you know what i'm saying in clinton so a lot of people used to be coming out, yo, L, man, yo, you got to talk to your little man, Fuzzy, man, the homie Fuzzy, man, that nigga down there telling niggas to, he in, down there telling niggas to eat a dick, he down there inviting niggas to his private, all that, man, that nigga Fuzzy bugging, you heard, you know what I'm saying, and he doing this to anybody, you heard, niggas is coming in lower F, brand new, he the porter, he running around telling niggas to eat a dick and all that, this nigga Fuzzy young, but he, he was wild too, you know what I'm saying, but you know how, how it go. He young, so he 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 rubbing he rubbing shoulders with the wrong people in, in, in the block. So, but he down there with do and do and he and he know nobody ain't gonna say shit to him because he down there with do him and do the porter and everything and they from around the same way. He and he you know what I'm saying. So so he down there. So but he blood though. So niggas is coming out. Niggas like yo L yo you, you got to talk to your little man man your little man bugging man. The nigga he down there he down there um. Telling niggas to eat a dick and all this, inviting niggas to his private bar, and talking about get your gun. My man Fuzzy was bugging. He used to be telling niggas get your gun, nigga. Bring your gun to the yard, nigga. I don't want to hear about it. Bring your gun to the yard. That's how my man Fuzzy was on it, and he was only eighteen. So boom, one day, boom. But so now one day I didn't get, I didn't, I, I, I came to the yard late. So boom. So, so um, this nigga Romeo Biz had had a, had a plan brewing. You heard? It was a soft nigga that that you know what I'm saying that um that got got the bag or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? And then this nigga um Romeo Biz tried to press the nigga. The nigga wouldn't give Romeo Biz nothing. So Romeo Biz was like, oh, all right. So Romeo Biz thought he was gonna pull a, a good one. He went he he went and said, yo Fuzz, yo yo yo, you gotta put it in, B. You heard? But it don't cause Fuzz was the youngest homie there, and he but he tried to do it behind every. Everybody back, cause he knew that no niggas wasn't gonna go for that. So boom. So now, so now, I come out to the yard. I see, I see all the homies on the side. You know what I'm saying? Then I see Fuzzy and my my little my man Satan on the side. So they like, so so I'm like, I go up to them. I'm like, yo, what's good? Them niggas looking sad and shit. So I'm like, what's good? So the nigga, the, the nigga Satan, like, yo, this nigga Romeo Biz gonna try to talk about Fuzz. Got to put it in and all that. Da, 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 da. So I was like. Nah, he Fuzz ain't putting in on nothing, B. Especially about no dope, you know what I'm saying? Fuck out of here, B. Sorry for cursing, you heard? I was like, man, Fuzz ain't putting in nothing on, on no dope, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm trying to tell you. Them old timers up north, them niggas, them dudes are trying to sell you out for some dope, B. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas, they, they either gonna stab you, they either gonna plot on you, you know what I'm saying? They either gonna, they gonna do something to you over that, over them drugs, man. So stay away from them drugs, man. I know people be thinking that it's cool to go to jail and do what they do and this and that. But, yo, I'm telling you, man, them old times, man, them niggas is going to get you, man. They're going to find a way to get you stabbed up just to get your drugs, man. I'm telling you, man. So, you know, stay out that life. You know what I'm saying? Or they're going to send you on a doja mission, you know what I'm saying, for some drugs. You know what I'm saying? Like like my man Romeo Biz trying to do to my man Fuzz. You know what I'm saying? He told my man Fuzz, yo, it's your deck, you gotta put it in. You been here for a minute, you ain't putting no work. Yo, you yo go put it in. So now I come out to the yard. They waiting for me to come out to the yard because they like, y'all, we waiting for L because we, we gotta tell L about this because once L I ain't, niggas ain't niggas ain't putting it in for this dude, um, Romeo Biz. You know what I'm saying? For his, for, cause he can't get no drugs from homeboy. You know what I'm saying? So he now he gonna come to the youngest homie on the down low and try to tell a homie to, to put it in. You heard? So what I did was I said, yo, I said, yo, such and such. I told one of the homies, I said, yo, boom. I said, fuzz, you ain't putting in nothing. You heard? I said, yo, go. I told somebody, I said, yo, go up to the such and such. Go tell such and such I need that gun. You heard? Boom, boom. Matter of fact, tell such and such. So I walked up the hill and went 
went to the nigga that had I, that had I, that helped us bring our guns to the yard. And I, I was like, yo, where that gun at? He was like, it's right there. I said, give me that gun. So boom, when I, I went and picked up the gun and I put it on me and I went back down to the down the hill and I went and stood by all the bloods, Romeo Biz and them niggas. So no matter of fact, I went and stood by um um the niggas, my Bronx niggas, you know what I'm saying? So boom, I'm standing there with my Bronx niggas. So then, so then Romeo Biz come out of nowhere and he say, he come up to me, he say, yo, L, man, what's good, L? Yo, L, man, come on, man. I know you ain't go get a gun for me, L. So I was like, I ain't go get no gun for you. Why? What happened? He was like, nah, man. Yo, you know, I said that nigga Fudge got to put in some work. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? I seen that you, you go up to the hill and, and you, oh, man, L, I know you ain't do that to me, man. Me, L, me, you heard? I said, yo, Biz, man, listen, B, Fuzz ain't putting in nothing over no dope, you heard? You know what I'm saying? So, and I ain't go get a gun for you, but I had a gun on me because that's how Romeo Biz and them niggas play, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, nigga, the nigga ain't want no problems with me because the nigga respected me because he knew I was holding down the Bronx niggas, you know what I'm saying? So my man Fuzz, my man Fuzz never even had to put in no work and everything continued as regular, you understand what I'm saying? But Romeo Biz, he... Uh, as long as I was dead with him, he used to always crack jokes. Be like, yo, man, this nigga L, man. This nigga L went and got a gun for me, man. Oh, man, this nigga, man. I, I thought you was my nigga, L. I'm like, nigga, I, I'm M your nigga, man. You heard? But don't play with my Bronx niggas, B. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't no doges, man. It's not my niggas, man. You heard? My niggas ain't, my, my niggas is not no doges, B. You know what I'm saying? And if and and and, 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 if, and if niggas would have if niggas would have tried to act like they were in the war with me um, on my little Bronx team because um fuzz because of that fuzz situation it it would have been war but it wasn't because niggas already knew how I was giving it up you know what I'm saying that's why I told you when I came out my niggas couldn't wait to tell me because they they knew I went right to the up to the hill got that knife you know got that got that ice pick that banger that bone crusher you heard got that bone crusher came down sat down like nothing never happened waiting for this nigga Romeo Biz to bring that bull crap around you know what I'm saying but he he came right he came straight up to me with with that joke and shit talking about oh man my man L man I know you ain't go get a weapon for me L and I'm like nah I ain't go get no weapon for you man but you know how this shit go nigga you know what I'm saying um, none of my Bronx dudes is no doges. We ain't putting in no work for niggas for no dope. None of that. You heard? You know what I'm saying? And I, I saved my man right there. You know what I'm saying? I saved my little man Fuzz because if I didn't, if I didn't do that, what was gonna happen was my man Fuzz wasn't gonna put in no work for 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 Romeo Biz because my man Little Fuzzy he had his own mind. Like I told you, he was in Lower F with Ron Do. You know what I'm saying? Telling niggas to eat a Frank and all that. You heard? I'm talking about he was telling grown men to eat a Frank, telling niggas to bring their gun to the yard, all that. You know what I'm saying? He just was under a regime, a regime. You understand? Know he was just under a regime, the, that BX regime. You heard? And then you had a lot of them Brooklyn cats that we trying to use dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like especially Especially my man Romeo Biz because he looked at it like this little nigga from the Bronx, you know what I'm saying? He blood, he ain't never put in no work right here. So fuck it, I'm gonna tell him to put in work because this dude don't wanna give me no dope. No, nigga, you put in work. Get your dope your own way, you know what I'm saying? Get your dope your own way. But, you know, Romeo Biz was my dude. I wound up running into him in Attica before I went home. I remember when I got into that joint in Attica, you heard? He was like, yo, what's up, L? You know, I said, yeah, I said, what's up? He was like, he's like, yo, I heard I heard you got into something in A Block, you heard? Yeah, boom, boom. He said, they said where, you, where they got you at now? I said, I'm in, the, I'm in the metal shop. He said, oh, you in the metal shop? He said, good, now you can make you a banger and go out there and stab them niggas. Yo, yo, I told you, man, my man Romeo Biz was the funniest dude in the world, man. Brownsville in the Brooklyn, stand up. You heard? My man Romeo Biz, 33 years. Nigga love dope. That nigga tell you, man, I snip all the dope in the world, B. I don't give a damn. He'll tell you in a minute. What? You gonna do this 33 years? You gonna do that 33 years? All right, then. Then shut up, B. Then shut up, B. You heard? I'm sniffing all the dope I want, B. My man Romeo Biz, salute. I hope you still out there. You probably want that 33 years. You winding down on that 33 if you not out yet, B. My man Romeo Biz, man. Brownsville. Grimy-ass nigga. Word of my mother.